Nigeria is a very big nation with a lot of momentum, and it takes a lot of uh, force to change the direction of such a large moving body. So the what I might regard as modest uh, achievements are commendable. They are, uh, we, we, we thank God for little mercies. Of course, there's, we, we want a lot more than that. We don't want just mere uh, responses. We want deliverables. We want solutions. We want uh, uh, results. And the ultimate we want is that we have a fully deregulated, a fully um, um, a, a properly, uh, con uh, a properly uh, managed uh, community radio sector in Nigeria within the framework of the other tiers of broadcasting. Dr. Adewala, technology is a very important part you know, of the uh, actualization of uh, community radio development in any environment. At this moment in Nigeria, if community radio stations were to start now, uh, what do you think about the affordability level or affordability profile of, of Nigerian rural communities uh, when it comes to technology existing or emerging uh, technologies in the broadcast sector? Uh, communication technologies have always, until recently, been specialized, highly specialized technologies. And uh, with this high specialization comes the uh, difficulties uh, of uh, affordability. But of recent, due to the emergence of digital technologies, uh, these technologies have become largely democratized. They are largely available and they have become much cheaper than they used to be. What I see as a problem in the Nigerian environment is the fact that uh, required infrastructure may not be in place. Uh, public electricity supply, uh, the, the taking full, I mean, providing the full advantages of uh, uh, digital telecommunications, these have not been really uh, they're, they're not available to the extent that will facilitate these processes. But be that as it may, we must see the, the whole attitude to community broadcasting from the attitude, from the point, standpoint of passion. We must see community broadcasting as a means of extending the voice of people. And when people see the need for an extension of their voice, they will overrun whatever obstacles uh, in their way. And we must look at it from that point of view. I have been privileged to see projects in various parts of the world, various parts of rural parts of uh, countries that are not as financially uh, endowed as uh, Nigeria. And I see the, 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 the passion, the, the efforts with which young people are making their voice be, to be heard, uh, extending the reach of their natural voices. People you know, charging batteries over the weekend to run radio stations, you know, moving batteries from the nearest town with electricity to their little village to ensure that they are able to broadcast. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, the issue is this is a problem that needs to be solved and we have to put all our resources into it.